Spike Net interview number three, uh, Sean. Uh, hi, my name is Sean Dryden. I'm 28 years old from Houston, Texas. Uh, I play Lib Libro, an outside hitter. Um, I play the IPFW in Los Angeles Pierce College and uh, Team Pineapple. Uh, playing overseas has been a dream for me uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, it's hard for my position. I'm grateful for a couple opportunities. I've gone on a couple tours, and this one is another exposure tour, but there's a lot of games in a short amount of time. Uh, so we've been able to get footage for everybody on this tour just to get out and get seen by any club, any team that is looking for any position. Uh, my role on this team, uh, obviously as a Libro, I'm there to pass balls and play defense. I can't go up and swing, can't go up and serve, so I can't really score points for this team. I only know one style of play, and that is playing with the heart, the emotion, and the energy. If I don't play like that, I feel like I'm not a part of the team, I'm not on the court. So even, I'm not getting the kills, I'm not getting a block or an ace, I will be the most fired up guy on the court. I see somebody's head down, I'll go slap them around and say, hey, let's go, next play, we're going, we're gonna pick this up, I'm gonna pick you up, and we're gonna make our team better. You know, the Red Star game was uh, amazing, I mean, just for being the oldest club in Serbia and getting the opportunity to play against them was incredible. I'm one of those guys that when I get the opportunity, I, I like to just try to rise up and, and take advantage of it. it like, like I said, it's, it's a different level of volleyball. And it was a little bit of a shock to us at first when we started the first game. It was like, okay, these guys are ready to play. They're not just going to go through the motions. And we did a really good job of trying to step up and play to that level. There was not a lot of fans there, but the atmosphere of the game, the match, was incredible. It felt like there was hundreds of people there, just, just cheering and everybody getting fired up, and making an error, it didn't matter. We were still mentally in the next game, next point, and fighting for every point to try to win that match. Uh, so IPFW is, is awesome. Uh, first off, I can start with the alumni base there. It is, it's one of a kind. I did not go know that going into IPFW, just going to an alumni match when I was a player there. It's amazing. You have people that are in California, uh, Canada, overseas playing that come back especially just for that. It's, it's really a family aspect and um, one of the leaders of it is Loy Ball, Olympian. Uh, he created Team Pineapple about four years ago and uh, luckily I got asked to play on that and he has brought mainly IPFW guys on this, on this team. And we've become such a close family. It's not just a group of players. It is a brotherhood and a family aspect. Um, and he's brought us even closer together with our university and our coaches and our staff. Uh, Spike Night has been awesome. Uh, once again, I've been fortunate to play with the Team Pineapple. And you guys have done interviews with those, those guys and my brothers back home. And I know you guys are trying to grow the game from interviewing Jorge Rolot, Jeff Pitak, and trying to get other former players on there. Um, you guys have done an amazing job just trying to grow the game, uh, put everybody's lives out there, getting their um, volleyball skills known to the world and trying to help them out. And it's, it's been an awesome, awesome experience. And I'm hoping you guys continue to grow. And if you guys ever need anything from me, I'm sure any of the guys on this tour, we'd love to help you guys out to help you guys grow your company worldwide.